All right, what's up, guys? Hopefully, quick video on rendering from after uh, from blah blah blah. blah. Uh, quick video on exporting or rendering from Blender. Uh, sorry, working with a lot of software. Um, so I have an animation in Blender that I actually showed how to do last tutorial. Um, so actually, the screen would look something closer to be like this. Right now, if I look at my uh, scene collection, uh, which is kind of like the hierarchy in um, Unity, etc., um, I have a camera and a light. This came in default. Uh, if I didn't have the camera and the light, I'll go ahead and delete those really quickly. I would need to make a camera. Um, so I'm going to delete the camera too. So uh, if you have a camera, great, use it. If you don't have a camera, let's just, you know, Shift A, camera. Boom, easy as that. I got a camera. Now, uh, if I click this little guy right here, my uh, my camera, my, my view zooms in to fit what the camera currently sees. Currently, the camera is at, like, if I look right here, my object properties, the camera is at zero, zero, zero. So it's right there where the cube is. I don't want that to be. Um, in some other software, if I move my view when I have the camera selected, it'll move the camera too. That's not the case in Blender, at least not um, normally. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Now, I uh, want my camera, I'm gonna zero that out again. I'm gonna um, put the rotation, I'm gonna start the rotation at 90 and then put uh, 90 on the X and then zero on the Y, zero on the Z. Boom, so it's just facing one way. Um, if I set my camera to zero, zero, zero on the location, and then 90 on X, zero on Y, zero on Z for the rotation. Um, I can then move each of these by clicking and dragging. So let's say I wanted to move it on the Y axis to kind of push it over to the left a little bit. I can just click and drag this number. Oh, it's rotating, there it is. I can click and drag it on this number. But if I want to look through it and do that to see what I actually want to see, because I want to make sure that the whole animation is in my window, if I press N on my keyboard, N, I get a whole new set of tools, um, one of which is this view. What I can do here is I can lock camera to view. While this is checked, if I move my view when I have my camera selected, when I'm looking through my camera, the camera will move too. So watch this. If I zoom out, the actual camera is moving. I see those numbers changing. So I'm going to zoom out until the whole animation is in. And boom, that looks good. I can also like position my um, camera somewhere else, but I'm just gonna do that for now. Now, if I go to uh, my render settings here, this is the important part. If I go to my render settings, this little printer icon here, what I have set right now, um, you can set the output, this is important. The uh, If you click on this folder, you're gonna choose where you save it. So I can just save it to my desktop and choose what I name it. This is important, you wanna know where it's gonna be. Um, so I'm just naming it test cube, except. Other things in here, the file format instinctively is like BMP or PNG. For a video, we need to set FFmpeg video. Scroll down there, open encoding. The encoding container that I'm going to use is MPEG4. The video codec should be H.264. And then quality, like we could just do high quality now and encoding speed good is fine. So all these settings are important. File format, FFmpeg video, container, MPEG4, video codec, H.264. Now, if I go up to render up here in the top, render animation, now what it's doing, I'm gonna move myself, is frame by frame, it is rendering or uh, resolving, like finishing the image. And as soon as this is done, I'm on frame, what, uh, 11 out of 120. As soon as this is done, it might take a little while, depending on how long your animation is. As soon as this is done, the file, the MP4, will be wherever I designated it. So for now, on my desktop. And that's it. That's, uh, that's how you render or export from Blender. Thank you for watching.